My name is Linda. I live in Fairfax, Virginia. I own a small award-winning interior design business, and I've been a Republican my entire voting life from my first absentee ballots from the state of Texas while I was in college in Pennsylvania to the present. I grew up in a military family. My father was in Korea when I was born, was in Vietnam when I was in college. My husband, son, and future daughter-in-law all deployed to Iraq unfortunately came back. I care about this country and its leadership. I know the cost that many families pay to help defend this freedom. After Benghazi, there was no way I could ever support Hillary, despite my doubts about the possible candidate we might have. I looked at Trump during the primaries and his business record included leaving subcontractors out to dry over and over. His word was untrustworthy and I couldn't support him. I worked very hard for Kasich to try to give us other options. And when Trump was the candidate, I could not choke down a vote for him and I voted third party. Once he was elected, I prayed for his success. I hoped he would do well. I was happy about the Supreme Court judges. The economy improved. For a time, things would get better. But every time he would do something that I thought was good, it was followed by those horrible tweets, by bad decisions in other cases, and policies that I absolutely abhorred. Now we're in a health care crisis. The president because of his dangerous suggestion that people drink disinfectant. Now I'm getting ads for disinfectant that, that have huge warning labels of do not ingest this. I have a handicapped brother with Down syndrome who's refusing to wear a mask because the president doesn't. And the president in the greatest healthcare crisis in my lifetime is trying to pull down Obamacare without having any kind of replacement for it. <sighs> Everything seems to be about him. No, Mr. President, whether I wear a mask or not is not about you. Instead of leadership, we have chaos. We have a tanking economy and rising rates of COVID-19. And I will not vote for the man. I decided I can vote for Biden. He's a decent human being. He has a track record of working across the aisle. He understands suffering. He's proven that he cares about our military. He is respected by our allies, and I think we can work with him. I'm asking you to join me and other Republicans in not voting for Trump, but voting for Biden for president, and then to look for another principled leader to come forward in our party to advance our conservative values and heal our country. Thank you.